What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, looking at a new TCG exclusive monster coming out of Invasion Vengeance, and this is a brand new synchro. It's called Vermilion Dragon Mech, but more importantly, it is a generic level 9 synchro that only requires two monsters, and it's like hallelujah, because after all of this time, we finally have another generic level 9 that only requires two monsters and can immediately make an impact when it hits the field, and it's just, it's so strange that the level 9 synchro pool, it, it's strange because so many of the monsters either require three monsters to summon or they're just not generic they're you know boss monsters for their respective archetype like mecha phantom beasts and you know gotems and stuff like that or they're just cards like these crappy castles that just don't really do anything they don't really make an immediate impact i mean chow feng is a pretty decent card but it's not exactly what i would call splashable like chow feng is not a card that really does anything immediately outside of like you know yang zing and these are pretty much your generic level 9 synchros. I actually took off Christian for Nixon because it does require two tuners, or excuse me, it requires two synchros, and one of them has to be a, syn a synchro tuner monster, and it's like, eh, how many decks really run now? But let's look at Vermilion Dragon Map. So it is generic, as I said. Um, the stat line is really good. It's 2,700, just like Trishula, level 9. 1,800 defense. Trish, what is your defense? Okay, so Trish's defense is a little higher, but the attack is basically on par with Trishula. It requires a tuner plus one or more non-tuners to summon, and it says, once per turn, you can banish one tuner from your hand, field, or graveyard, then target one card on the field, destroy it. If this synchro summon card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished tuners and add it to your hand. So I think it's a pretty decent card. Obviously, it's nowhere near, you know, the power that is Trishula. I actually can't think of another synchro, you know, like, uh, I guess, level that is so defined by one monster. Trishula is the king of the level nines, and I don't think anything's ever going to even rival Trish, but this card does make an immediate impact. Uh, ideally, you wouldn't want to banish the tuner from your hand or from your field unless you, I guess, were trying to open up some more plays, but the most common play, I would assume, is to summon Vermilion Dragon Mech and to just banish the tuner that you use to summon it with and then just blow something up. Now, he doesn't get his effect when he's destroyed by battle. However, he is 2700. Like, 2700 isn't the easiest thing to take down in battle. I know there are obviously things like like, you know, Utopia, the Lightning, and there are 3,000 Blue Eyes and other Synchro Monsters. But keeping this card protected from battle isn't the hardest thing in the world and it just means that if your opponent uses some type of destruction effect like a regeki or something like that ideally he should be able to replace it so the fact that it can blow up monsters and back row is important because you're going to have those matchups like magic specters or cosmos where you just simply cannot hit their monsters and you'll probably have to go after their back row you'll have to be able to hit their scales or you know one of their field spells not cosmo town but you know there's like a random called haunted that might be set or something like that i see this as like i don't know it's it's a good start you know konami has hopefully they've identified the fact that the the level nine pool is just kind of lacking i mean if you're not running an archetype deck like this is not really a strong pool i know a lot of people will be like well what about miss worm miss worm requires three monsters and it generally in a world where we have like things like solemn strike it's generally not worth it because you know it, it's just your opponent has to have a bunch of cards on the field hopefully if they're from the extra deck they can still play those cards unless you're going to kill somebody I don't really think that it's worth it. Trishula, of course, is always worth it. Non-targeting removal hits their hand. It's an amazing card, but I don't know. I see this as possibly a card that people can splash into, like, Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes is probably the only deck right now that, you know, commonly goes into level 9s. Um, I do think it's a little bit of a shame that this guy is actually a machine, even though he has Dragon in his name. Obviously, he has Mech as well. And the reason I say that is because I feel like him coming out of Invasion Vengeance, this is a time where so many people, because ABCs come out and basically a week and a half this is a time where so many people are going to be side decking um system down that if this guy if he gets hit with a system down, his effect won't trigger, and you'll basically just kind of lose him for nothing. So if he was a dragon, you know, it'd add a little more power to a deck like Blue Eyes because there'd be a whole bunch of natural synergy where he could get protected by, like, a Zurai's effect and whatnot. So I don't know. I feel like being a machine for, I guess, the next few months might be a little bit of a liability just because everybody should be siding system down because ABC should be one of the strongest decks in the format. But let me know what you guys think. I just think it's nice that this card can be summoned, has good stats, and can instantly 
blow something up and then some of the times it's destroyed by the way it has to go to the graveyard so if there's dark law or macro on the field you're pretty much sol but i think that it's nice that at least it attempts to pay you back for the investment that you put in and you can use its effect constantly every single turn as long as you have access to tuners so let me know what you guys think of vermilion dragon t uh, tech i think it's a pretty decent card thank you guys for watching as always and subscribe if you have not already